so today it is August 22nd and it's currently 5.43. I literally been up since 6.30 in the morning because I had jewelry duty today. It's my first time ever having jewelry duty. And thank God they did not get to call in my number. So I was able to leave. But the only bad part is that I was there from 8 to like 3, bro. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to be in there for that long. So I am exhausted, but I know I have a couple things that I have to take care of. And I've been putting off for a couple days. So if you guys been keeping up with me, like with my previous vlogs, you guys know that I was in the Dominican Republic. And then I went to New York. So I was in DR for two weeks. I came back home for like a week. And then I left to New York for like four to five days. And now I'm finally back home. I've been home for a couple days, but I've just been, like, very lazy. To be honest, I've been lazy. I just feel like I've just been tired from, like, you know, not being home. And I just wanted to chill and just lay in my bed and watch my shows and just do nothing. So that's what I've been doing the past days that I've been home. But today, since I already had to get out the house and go to jewelry duty and stuff like that, I was like, you know what, like, I'm just going to do the other things that I have to do. So even though I am exhausted, I am trying to fix my sleeping schedule. So my plan is to stay up um, until maybe like 10 or 11 instead of like taking a nap so I could go to sleep early and then, you know, wake up early. And hopefully from there, we can start fixing our sleeping schedule. Just getting back in my daily routines from being like on vacation and just taking care of like my errands that I have to run with coming back. So I do have my luggage right over there. That's from when I went to New York. I have to unpack that. I have to like wash my sheets and stuff. So that's why they're not on my bed right now. So that's the things that we're going to be doing today. But I also do need to take my hair out. I need to soak these nails off because they are already ready to come off. I did want to get a refill, but my nail tech is booked to next month. So I can't last. Like they're going to end up breaking if I try to last that long so I can get a refill. So I'm just going to soak them off. Both the hair and the nails are like a month and about to be two weeks old. And the fact that they don't look like, this look bad under the headband because it's growing. So it looks very loose. But like the twist itself, it doesn't look too bad. So that's why I've been like, you know, hanging in there with them. Because I love the fact that I don't have to do nothing but my edges. So, but these have to come off because I have to wash my hair. Nails got to get come off. I have to go to Target to pick up a couple things that um I've been out of. So yeah, we're just going to be basically running errands in this vlog and getting ourselves back together. Hey guys so it's like two days later and i just finished getting ready because i'm about to go to the nail salon to soak these nails off literally a couple minutes after i finished unpacking and cleaning my room and stuff this nail popped off so i really want to just pop them off because usually i pop my own nails off but i don't want to like damage my nails because the last time i did that my nails was damaged for like a month or two so i just want to do it the healthy way so i just finished getting ready i'm gonna show you guys my outfit real quick and yeah, after I get my nails soaked off, I'm gonna go to Target to buy the things that I need to buy. Um, my essentials that I ran out of, so that's the plan today. But let me show you guys my outfit before we head out. So this is my outfit. I just have on this two-piece short set from the TikTok shop with my sandals and my bag from Shein. And then I also got a new tripod from the TikTok shop as well, like a smaller one. 
because the other one you guys know was like a little bigger so yeah i got this set in like four different colors <laughs> this is like the short version of the like legging ones that i was wearing um on my past vlogs but yeah this is the outfit but i'm about to head out so see you guys at the nail salon I just got done getting my nails soaked off and she cut my cuticles and all of that I love that like I tipped her very good because usually like the little bits of times that I went to get my nails soaked off which was only probably like two to three times no three to four times um one time the lady was like oh let's just do a pop-off like she didn't want to do a soak off she wanted to do the pop-off method and I was like no because that's gonna hurt and it's gonna damage my nails she was like no it's not no it's not like i got you and my nails was damaged for like two months and it hurt it so bad my only like actually like a good soak off experience was at the nail salon that i just went to that's why i went back there and this time like they cut my cuticles and everything um she did cut my nails because she did ask me like if i wanted to like just shape it down or cut them and i said cut them but like when she cut them in my head i was like dang like i should have just shaped it down because my nails was long and um it was healthy like it wasn't like fragile or anything so at some point i do want to switch over to letting my nails grow and just getting my nails done like without um an actual fake nail and just getting like an overlay on my nails so that could have started it but it's fine because i just regretted my decision about saying that after because i'm like then like i should have just filed it a little bit but this nail since this nail was the one that came off this nail was already short so i wasn't you know like it's better like this so i could give them all fresh start to grow like at the same rate but but yeah right now i'm about to go to target and get the things that i need to get it's not that much things i probably got like five things on my list and then after i'm thinking about getting food um i don't know where but i'm hungry so i need some food but yeah if it's so nice outside it would just be walking i just want to walk and just be in nature you know target and with the things that i got i spent 53 dollars this is why i don't go to target because you might calculate and think i'm about to spend like 25 dollars but 
I mean, honestly, I think it's fair, whatever. But I'm about to go to quick way because I'm hungry. So I am back home and I'm going to give you guys a Target haul. I didn't really get too, too much, but like I said, I was really just getting the essentials that I needed that I am running out of, already ran out of. So the first thing that I got is this 750 Q-tips pack because Q-tips is something you always need. And I'm always running out of Q-tips, so I just decided to get me some Q-tips. If you don't got some Q-tips in your house... Next thing, I did get the Dr. Bronner's soap, but I just got the refill one. So they came out with like these little cartons so they could produce less fabric because you guys know I'm always, you guys know I'm always buying my Dr. Bronner's. So I still have the bottle from my old one. So I'm just going to start buying like the refill um things, the cartons. So I thought this was just super cute because it looked like a milk carton, but most importantly, very, very good for, you know, our mother nature because it's less plastic being produced then i did pick up a value two pack of the crest 3d white um radiant mint toothpaste um i usually use i'll use colgate or crest but i decided to get crest because i do use the crest whitening strips the 3d whitening strips and i love those i've been using those for like years now next up i did get some honey pot pads i feel like every time i go to target i'm always restocking on pads even though i still have pads like i still have like one period to two periods left of pads so like two months but every time that i'm like halfway through a pack i always decide to re-up because you just really never know like when you will need like you know but like it's like something that's always coming every month so you can never have too much pads so i always like just like to restock so by the time my period comes it doesn't catch me by surprise, the fact that I don't have no more packs. Like, you know, like, that's happened to me before where I thought I had a whole nother pack and I didn't. And, like, it's like my period's here and I gotta go to Target and get some bags. So, I just always, like, like to restart. Next, I did get the five blade up and up razors. This is the razors that I use for my legs and my armpits. And I love this value pack. This is not my first time buying it. So, you guys already know when it comes to razors. These are the ones that I use. I heard a lot of things about man razors being good and stuff. But honestly, I just, I like these. Like these give me a smooth shave. And even though I don't shave down there anymore. But when I did shave, I used to use those as well. And I always had a smooth shave. So, And then the last thing that I got, it is the Method Body Wash. And this time I got the Berry Balance one. Because they didn't have the regular one that I usually get. Um, I still have a bottle of this left that I'm currently using. But once that bottle is done, I'm not going to have no more of my scented body wash. So I decided to be up now. But I decided to get this one. Because like I said, they didn't have the one that I usually get. It smells very similar to the one that I usually get. But this one smells more fruity. Hmm. And this one is a new one as well. Because I haven't seen like the last times that I went to Target picking up my Method Body Wash. I haven't seen this color, so this one smells pretty good. And yeah, that is literally all the things that I got. Like I said, I did spend $53. It was $55, but because I used my Target credit card, it went down to $53. So even though it's a $2 saving, a saving is a saving, okay? So, yeah. But, um, I think I'm gonna be taking out my hair tomorrow. I was gonna do it tonight, but I honestly don't feel like doing it tonight. I'd rather, like, do it tomorrow early so I could wash my hair right after. Yeah, right now it's currently 8.52 and I'm about to go walk Fluffy, take him to the dog park and just chill for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow when we're taking my hair out, finally, because it's long overdue. It's long overdue.
So it is the next day, and as you guys can see, I'm literally wearing my braid out. Um, I've never wore my braid out. Like, I'm usually the type to, as soon as I take my braids out, I'm washing it. Hold on. So, yeah, I just decided to wear it out because yesterday when I took my braids out, I didn't feel like washing it. And I totally forgot that today I had a court date for the tickets if you guys are keeping up with my videos then you guys remember when i told you guys that from my car accident the police officer that showed up to the scene tried to like put it in the system that he gave me two tickets when he never actually gave me no tickets you know i plead not guilty and they gave me a court date and today was my court day i totally forgot about that good thing that i wrote it down on my calendar and yesterday um it had popped up and i was like oh my gosh like i do have court so I just literally did a cute little half up, half down. I like it. I just think it's because it was twists instead of actual, like, braids. That's the reason why it doesn't look, you know, so, like, I don't know. But I just got out of the court room, and I was found not guilty because the police officer didn't even show up. Why would he show up? He know dang well. You didn't even give me no tickets on the scene. And you verbally told me that you was not giving me no tickets because you wasn't there to witness what happened. But yeah, so I was found not guilty. All thanks to the Lord. But right now, I am about to head to Marshall's because it is one of my friend's birthday. So I'm about to get her 
her gift um and i'm gonna get some other stuff that i have to get i'm also like 30 something minutes away from my house so i've never been to this marshall's and one thing about me i love going to like new marshall's and new tj maxx's and new like ross's because you don't know what you could find like somewhere else that your marshall's or your tj maxx doesn't have so we're gonna go in here and well i'm about to drive over there and yeah, we're gonna see what we're gonna find. Hopefully, I find some good stuff so I don't have to go somewhere else. But this is my outfit. I have on this white top. I don't. I think this is from Shein, I believe. And then I have on these jeans. These jeans are from Shein as well. And then I just have on my Crocs with my purse from the TikTok shop, of course. And if you guys are interested in this purse, I have a video somewhere on my TikTok. Um, I'm pretty sure the cover of the video is me holding that purse up so it's easy for you guys to find. So, change of plans. We're actually going to Ross first because um, I seen Ross while I was on the way to Marshall's. So, I decided to stop at Ross first. If I don't find nothing, then we're going to head over to Marshall's. But, yeah, let's go into Ross. <laughs> everything that i need to find at ross this is my bag yeah a very very big bag but i am proud to say that i didn't buy nothing for myself i went in there and bought specifically what i needed to buy so first i'm gonna show you guys my friend's gift so i've seen this a true religion purse and it just gives her like when i seen that i like just thought about her like i don't know like do we ever see something that just looks like somebody not looks but like it just looked like like she would love that and she would wear that yeah when i seen this i was like that is so cute and i think it goes with her but you know she don't want it <laughs> i'm pretty sure she's going to love it so i decided to pick this true religion purse up it's pretty big it's gonna fit everything that she needs to fit in here even to take it to work to take it out when she's getting dressed up whatever the case may be and it is like a denim material i just thought it was super super cute so that's what i got her for her birthday as her gift um by the time this video is up her birthday is already gonna pass and she's already gonna have her gift so that's why i'm showing it so i do have a newborn being born from one of my loved ones in september and it is a baby girl so i decided to go shopping for her i'm gonna put everything in a basket and you know make it real cute and real girly because you know it's a baby girl and i just love babies like i would love buying baby stuff and i love babies and if my loved ones are having a baby i'm going to you know show love to to the baby to come like that's just how it goes the first thing that i got it is the basket on where everything's gonna go and i decided to get this one because it's super cute i was gonna get a pink one but i was like everything else that's in the um that's gonna go in here is like girly stuff like you know pink clothes and colorful things like that so i decided to just get it white so the first thing that i got it is this healthcare kit it have a nail clipper a feeding spoon to like give medicine to the baby too this is all the things that it has you know just like nail clippers and things to like take out the boogers with take their temperature feed them medicine and it also comes like in a case so this is mainly like a travel one so like you know when she's going out somewhere she could just close this up and literally put it in her bag because when you have a newborn or a baby in general you always have to have things like this because you never know what could happen 
Next, I did get this cute little blanket. And it also brings two um, headbands with a bow and a flower. And I just thought it was very, very cute. And definitely going to be, you know, themey, themey for the fall and stuff. So, then I did pick up these socks that come with headbands as well. Little mini headbands. And these are just socks. Because one thing that I learned from having a baby niece is that when they're first born until they're like one they don't wear shoes like well i know for me like we didn't really put shoes on my baby niece because it's like uncomfortable for them they're gonna want to take it out unless we're going out and they're gonna be walking but nine times out of ten if they haven't even started walking yet they're wearing socks so socks is always something that a baby is going to need so next up i did get this very cute two-piece it comes with like the little um bottoms to it in the top and i just thought this was so 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 cute this is from zero to three months i always like getting like three months um stuff for newborns because nine times out of ten everybody else is going to be getting them like newborn baby clothes and babies grow very very fast another thing that i learned from having a baby niece is i will buy her things and literally i in a blink of an eye she does not fit them no more so i always try to like you know get something that's a little bigger this probably won't fit her um as soon as you know she's born but eventually it will so that's all that matters then i did pick up this cute little set so it does bring two shirts and it's like cherry theme which i thought was so cute this is the two shirts and then it brings some bottoms to it and the last thing that i got it is this set of three um shirts this is what they look like just very very cute shirts this is from three to six months so this is something that she's definitely going to be wearing you know like later on i love the color coordination of this like the um pink with the brown and that is all that i got so this is the basket i'm obviously going to fix it up when i get home i'm not sure if i'm going to record that maybe i will but that's literally all that i got from ross right now we're gonna go home i'm gonna set that up and yeah i don't really have nothing else to do today today it is friday the 30th it's currently 10 55 in the morning as you guys can see i just finished getting ready because i have a lash appointment my lash appointment is at 12 and my lash tech is about 25 to 30 minutes away from me so the plan is to head out at 11 15 yeah i just finished doing my hair i did end up washing my hair um yesterday night and doing my curly hair routine and stuff so today i just picked it out and all of that good stuff i'm gonna show you guys my outfit even though you guys already seen it but this is the outfit so i do have on this two-piece set 
from of course the tiktok shop i'm gonna put my crocs on but they're downstairs and then i do have this cute purse this purse is literally so cute and it's like the perfect size to fit all of my stuff and i also got it from the tiktok shop because y'all already know this if you guys are interested in my two-piece set or the purse i love to say that a video would already be out by the time this vlog is out on my tiktok with the direct link on top of the caption but sometimes plans don't go as planned so i'm gonna like put a little screen record to show you guys how to find the products that i mentioned on my youtube videos or anytime you guys see me wearing something and i say it's from the tiktok shop this is how you find it so you will go to my tiktok at Lil Young Maya and you will click showcase and everything that's on there is stuff that I've linked down that I have so you can either look for the specific item that I have on or you could just search it up for example for the purse you just go to the little search bar on the top and search up purse and all the purses that I have linked this one will pop up just like this but as a black one because that's the cover of the product but when you click on the product and you scroll down there should be like all the options with the colors and designs and stuff like that then for the two-piece set you guys would just search up two-piece set and all the two-piece set that i have link will pop up which is a lot because i do have a lot of two-piece sets like i love two-piece sets what can i say i love running errands going to appointments going to the airport and stuff like that in a two-piece set i just think like that's just an essential for me but this one does come in a pack of three um i got this gray one a black one and a pink one so they do have that option but they also have it individually so if you just want to get this one or you just want to get like one color you don't want to get the three pack then you guys could go ahead and you know get the one that you guys like but yeah every time that i say like something is on my tiktok showcase that's how you get to it because i've realized that not a lot of people are familiar with the tiktok shop which is crazy to me because i would think everybody is but there's a lot of people that's not or that doesn't trust it or whatever the case may be and coming from somebody that everything is starting to be from the tiktok shop i could say it's definitely a safe spot to shop in it's just like amazon so i'm gonna make me some breakfast i got 15 minutes so i'm gonna time in and then we're gonna head out and go to my lash appointment yeah i'm not sure what set i'm getting because i am a model for my lash tech so she did just hit me up saying she wanted to do a model set on me so i guess we're gonna talk details when i get there so i'm very excited because every time she's done my lashes it's always been like a freestyle like on her end and it's always came out super super cute so i'm excited to see what she comes up with this time and one thing about me i love trying new things when it comes to like lashes and honestly anything like hairstyle nails lashes like i'm always open to trying something new like i'm not the type that like stick to one thing and that's what i always get like i like to switch my look up so we're gonna see what we come out of there with but i'm very very excited so see you guys at my lash appointment So I'm back home from getting my lashes done and I love, love my lashes and the lash map, I know it's 8, 8 to 15, I think she said, 8 to 15 or 8 to 16, one of those and we actually did brown, it looks super, super cute, I feel like it's not too like raw because it is brown like the lashes are brown if they would have been black it would have been like more dark obviously so it would have been more like you know like you could really tell it's a volume set but because it is brown and looks more light which i love because this is my first time getting a volume set so you know i was kind of scared a little bit that it was gonna be like 
too much but at the same time not because i know the way she does lashes and even on like her mega volumes and stuff it's like full enough but it's not like extreme if you get what i'm saying if you guys are in maryland book with my girl but since my lashes are done and you know my hair like i'm having a good curly hair day so i feel like i need my nails done so we're about to do some press-ons i recently got these press-ons from the tiktok shop i got this one that's just like regular french tip i have these that is like purple and then i have these that are french tip with like bowls on it so it's like on the coquette type of side and all of these was from the tiktok shop they're like one to two maybe three dollars so i've never had um press on nails from the tiktok shop so i'm about to go ahead and put the purple ones on because i just i can't with my bare hands anymore i already showed you guys how to find products on my showcase i do have a video of this like it should be a video somewhere on my tiktok that says tiktok shop haul because usually when i get a lot of items from the tiktok shop i do like a big haul on youtube and i'll link all the products they're linked in that video but to make it easier for you guys you guys could just go to my showcase search up nails and these will pop up so yeah these are super cute so i'm excited to see like what type of quality i get for only paying two dollars but yeah i'm about to prep and just cut my cuticles push them back file my nails and then glue them on so let's get started i'm going to be watching love island while i do it i'm literally on the last two episodes like i'm at where they picking like like the finalists and like the other two couples are going home i'm in that episode so by the time you guys see this the i'm already gonna be done with it but honestly like i was watching season five at first before i watched season six and Everybody just keeps spoiling it. Like, I already know who ends up with who. Spoiler alert, by the way. I'm about to say something. If you haven't watched it, skip past this part. I know about Serena and Cordell, and I know about Leah and Miguel, and I know Serena and Cordell. One, because everybody on TikTok, bro, is talking about it. And even if I skip past the videos, people, like my mutuals on Instagram, I posted it on their stories when they post pictures together. So I'm like, bro, I didn't even want to watch it at some point. But even though you know, like, who wins and the two couples that end up together, because I really haven't seen nothing about the other couples, um, because they're not really the talk of the show, I guess. But, yeah, it's still interesting to watch because there's a lot that takes place and it's just very juicy and, yeah. Like, so I suggest for you guys to watch it, but I'm gonna go ahead and watch that while I do these nails and you guys are just gonna see me do my nails. So I'm done with my nails and this is what my nails look like. They're so cute and they're definitely not giving press-ons. Like they look like I actually got my nails done. I love the shape and I love the length of it. I just feel like it's giving me very like, you know, classy. They are pretty solid. So, but also that depends on the type of glue that you use. But they're also like very like, they're not super thick, but... They're not like bendable, like they're sturdy, which I love. And for $2, bro, like are you serious? This is definitely a steal, like it's a steal and I love them. It's definitely making me feel like myself again because lately I've been feeling like I've been walking around looking a little crusty, but you know, we're getting ourselves together. And this is not even a maintenance vlog, but you know, I did a little maintenance in here, so.
So as you guys have just seen, I just finished installing this wig. It is like I want to say three days um since the last clip. This was for a TikTok collaboration. So if you guys are interested in the wig details, you guys can go to my TikTok. Any video that you guys see with this wig, like doing a hairstyle and installing it, the link is going to be directly on there. But I just finished getting ready because I'm going to the gym today. So it is officially September and that means it's literally about to be fall season that means summer is over if you guys been following me for a while you guys know that i prioritize the gym when it gets cold outside so like in the fall in the winter i like mainly being consistent in the gym because it's like i'm working towards my summer body and then in the summer sometimes i do go to the gym in the summer here and there but i don't really like to commit to the gym in the summer because in the summer i'm traveling i'm like doing stuff i'm i'm outside like i'm trying to enjoy the summer body that i worked for so like that's just what I do. I know some people like going all year round, but I like to go in the winter. So we are starting the gym back up. God's willing, this is the first day of a consistent gym period of me going actually every single day as I should be going. Monday through Friday until the summer comes back around. This is my outfit. I just have on this BBL jackets, but it's not really the BBL jackets because this is from Halara. And that's not what they call it, but yeah, it's like the BBL jackets and I literally just have on some black shorts but i just wanted to check in with you guys to let you guys know what we was gonna be doing so i'm about to put on my little headband thing for my lace and put my hair up in a braid and we're gonna head to the gym so yeah see you guys at the gym I just got back from the gym. I just got out of the shower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to go to the movies. So the movie starts in like exactly an hour. I'm like 10 minutes away. So like from the movie theater. And you guys know the previews are like 15 to 10 minutes long. So I'm not rushing because I don't really have to do my hair. And all I'm doing is a little bit of powder and some blush. And that's literally all. So... Yeah, we gotta go to the movies. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Cause I kinda wanna wear something that's long sleeve because you know the movie theaters is cold and it's already a little breezy outside because the sun is down. So you know it's that weather. We getting that weather already. I don't really have like my fall wardrobe intact yet, but I just wanted to come on here and update you guys real quick on what I'm doing. Oh, and the movie that we're watching is called The Forge. If you guys been seeing it on TikTok, um, if you guys are anywhere on Christian TikTok because it's like a, a Christian movie. So, yeah, we're going to go see that and I'm excited to see it. So, let me get ready and I'm going to talk to you guys when I figure out what I'm going to wear. 
Okay, so I am ready. Please do not mind. It's all packages that I have to get to. But this is the outfit that I end up putting on. I just put on this long sleeve from OQQ and these um wide leg pants from Shein with my Crocs and then my purse from the TikTok shop. Right now it is 9.07 so we're good on timing because the movie don't start until 9.34 so. Well yeah, this is the outfit. Very cute but cozy and comfy because today it's a Wednesday nobody's gonna be in the movies. So it is the next day and I woke up probably like an hour ago. It's currently 12. Well, about to be one, so it's not the morning anymore. Yesterday when I came home, I literally went to sleep because I was so tired. I'm going to tell you guys about the movie. Great movie. I give it a 10 out of 10. I cried three times during the movie, I think. Well, I feel like you could just feel God's presence through the movie. And I honestly think if you're a follower of Christ, you definitely should go watch the movie because it just shows the importance of prayer overall. I feel like that was the message that I got for it. Not only praying over everything that you do in life and being surrounded by people that are praying for you to succeed in whatever it is that you got going on in your life at that moment, but also praying for your loved ones that still haven't received God. Like, don't ever give up on praying on somebody like if you have a friend or a family member or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whoever it is that you like constantly are praying for them to find god and they still haven't like don't ever stop because that prayer is what could save somebody yeah that movie was a 10 out of 10 and i would definitely suggest it if you guys could hear my dog do not mind him freaking barking i am gonna be ending this video here because i do want to get this video out I feel like I haven't really been too, too consistent when it comes to YouTube because it's been so many little things that I could film. Like, I haven't really been doing nothing worth filming in my eyes, but I do have to realize that it's like you guys would like to just watch the realistic things that I do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure to click the bell so you can get notified every time I post another video.